Hello all and welcome back. Today we are going to design this beautiful infographic using PowerPoint. So let's get started. Let's first enable the guides and format the background with solid dark grey color. Next we will create hexagonal shape using triangle shapes. I suggest not to use hexagonal shape which is inbuilt in powerpoint because it is not in perfect shape. Remove the outline from this triangle shape and change its fill color for better visibility. Next duplicate this shape using ctrl plus d and flip it vertically. Align this shape with original triangle shape as shown and then create another duplicate using ctrl plus d. Align all the shapes as shown and then finally union all the shapes together into one solid shape. Drag this shape towards lower half of the horizontal guide and duplicate it using ctrl plus d. Flip it vertically and align both the shapes as shown. Union both the shapes and our hexagonal shape is ready. Rotate this shape by 45 degrees. And reduce its size by dragging it holding down ctrl and shift keys. Next duplicate this shape 3 more times using ctrl plus d and align them on three sides of hexagonal shape as shown. Finally, delete the original hexagonal shape by using delete key on your keyboard. Next go to insert tab and draw a circle through center holding down ctrl and shift keys. Make sure this circle covers some portion of all the three hexagonal shapes. Select all the shapes holding down ctrl key and then fragment them together. Delete the unnecessary fragmented section and then group remaining all the shapes together. Reduce its size and align the shapes along the horizontal guide as shown. Next duplicate this group using ctrl plus d, flip it horizontally and align both the shapes as shown. Now ungroup all the shapes and change the fill colors of each fragmented sections in hexagonal shape using eyedropper tool. Holding down ctrl key, select all the unfragmented sections and apply two step linear gradient. Change the stop colors to light grey and white colors. For each fragmented sections, Apply inner shadow effect with different directions. We can adjust the angle to match its shadow effect with the cut sections.
Next go to insert tab and draw a elbow connector line. Change its outline color to white and weight to 1 points. Next go to insert tab and draw a rounded rectangle shape. Make it completely rounded and align it at the end of line shape. Make it no fill and format it with same outline style like white color and weight of 1 points. Now drag this shape holding down control key to create duplicates and place them at each of hexagonal shapes as shown. Finally, add all text fields and PNG icons onto our design. Let's speed up to save time. So here is the final preview. Hope you all liked it. Please don't forget to like, share and comment. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.